Hello everybody and welcome back to this. Now I said I'd be making videos about this and I didn't actually lie for once, I mean I've kind of kept to it. But I mean this is the uh, whole thing, we're going to do obviously separate videos but I just want to do the whole kind of thing as like a show. Now it does look really messy and all this crap can be explained and I'll probably do that in the last video but I mean we're going to just pop it open. Use a shoe to keep it open, you know, only the best technology. But yeah, it looks kind of strange, and we can show the side of it in possibly another video of the whole cable management of it because it actually is decently managed. As you can see these are actually like labeled and whatever, so this one isn't, but the switch isn't finished yet, so we don't need to worry about that. It's fine anyway. So, the purpose of this video is going to be this server, and we'll do obviously the other ones in the other, uh, in the other videos, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, so this server is interesting. It has quite a good story, and this video is in about five minutes, but you know, they're quite fun. So, this is a Dell C6100. It is eh, expensive, it's kind of old, but you know, it's quite cool. It has 32 cores and 64 gigs of RAM, <clears throat> which sounds like a lot, and it is, but not in this system because this is uh, actually one, two, three, four individual computers. They're, it's called a node server. And, for example, this here, this hard drive is obviously for this server. This is a caddy. It's the original one that comes with it. It's just a one terabyte SATA uh, hard drive, it's enterprise drive, WD Black. I have quite a lot of them. This server has one, two, three, four, five, six of them in it. It did have all 12 populated at one point, but as you can tell from these caddies, they've been used. And, you know... It's uh, quite fun actually because seeing 12 terabytes just sit there is quite interesting. It looks just beautiful whenever it's done. But anyway, so to get on to the main point, like I said, this is a four node server. So obviously it's four individual computers. They all run Windows, every server does. It may virtualize Linux or other things, but they just base run uh, Windows on the hardware machine because it's just much easier. And I don't have to deal with everything else. But anyway, so, I kind of, I, I know them myself, but it'd be really hard to teach someone else, but we're going to go one, two, three, four, considering they're actually labelled one, two, three, four on these, and it kind of makes sense. I would turn it on, but it's extremely loud, anyone who owns servers knows that. This one is currently on, because it's doing something, but we'll get into that into the video where we actually talk about that one, but it's not too loud. This one sounds like a jet engine, that's why, in the microphone, it sounds really, really loud whenever it's on. I think it's been on for like one or two streams. But anyway, so this server currently is kind of a test server. I kind of went backwards whenever I started. So actually I'll go the way that I used them. So I went with this server first. No, sorry, this server. God, I'm getting confused already. And this server, it, both of these run my Minecraft server when I had it up. And they are, again, one terabyte drives. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm glad that isn't actually the uh, password anymore. <clears throat> that used to be the password to the machine because I reset all of them because I was getting annoyed with them. But anyway, so these two servers run the Minecraft server. This one also uh, runs my Plex server. It is, it's down, honestly. It don't use Plex. It's pretty bad. If you have an iPhone, maybe, but for Android, considering I can just grab it on my phone anyway, or, you know, like a lot of people torrent it, but I'd never do that. I only go to the uh, cinema to watch things, or pay for them legally, you know, Netflix. But yeah, this one runs a Plex server, and the Minecraft server, it runs basically half of it. It's shared across both, because 32 cores is obviously spread across four, and 64 gigs of RAM is spread across four. So I really wish it was all one system. I do want to move some of the RAM into the other server, but that's not important. Anyway, oh, hello. It's fine, we can do this. It's getting way too hot in here, actually. These things are evil to produce heat. I swear, they just... The walls are genuinely hot. It's bad. But anyway, I will get heating, I mean, like, cooling on point. So, Minecraft servers, Plex server... This is just kind of like a home server. I use it for virtualization and just, you know, stuff I need to mess around with at a time. This one I kind of give to people. It's what I use to either do kind of file sharing with people, FTPs. This one did have websites a couple times. And oh yeah, this one also has a website as well, as you can probably tell. The one I used first has everything else on it. 
and because it has everything else on it, it is uh, the oldest one, but it uses the most resources, but it somehow works the best. This one crashes sometimes. I don't know why, it just kind of does what it does, you know, it's technology, you can't help it. Anyway, to talk a bit more about kind of some of this, because it makes sense, uh, it is quite a powerful system. It's all Xeons, obviously, each node has two Xeons, and they are, oh god, my math is terrible right now, but yeah, it's easy to work out. I don't know why I can't work it out in my head, but you know, old people problems, just like that. It does come out, obviously. But it's not stuck, it weighs a ton. But yeah, it does come out. It's not actually on rails, it's just sat on like rails that kind of have like a little uh, like a like a little uh, like a little lip. It kind of just sits on the lip and you can push it back. I don't want to push it too hard, otherwise it'll just break, but you know. It's uh, pretty convenient, it stays where it needs to do, does what it needs to do, and I will show you guys the side and back of it in another video because we will go through the cable management in a whole separate video and you guys will understand more about what I've done and why I've done it because it does make a lot of sense considering I've got basically everything in here. I've got server, switches, more servers, PDUs, internet stuff, everything I ever need. This has all the stuff up here. I have my switchable OS USB. This has so many different operating systems on it. I have a big book of operating systems as well. This is just the keyboard and mouse. It's pretty basic. I don't actually use it. I use uh, Windows desktop remote connection software, well not really software, it's a protocol, but whatever. I use RDC to connect all the machines. Uh, these four are kind of annoying because obviously it's four individual computers, I need to connect four individual things. So they can be a pain, but you know, ultra wide you can have it set up, different ones, and then you know, it's efficient. But anyway, uh, each one obviously has a one terabyte hard drive and they are, I'm pretty sure, 7200s. Anyway, but kind of more talking about the future other than the past, or should I say, what's currently happening, I guess. This server hasn't actually been used for a while. Its main purpose is to run Minecraft servers on these two, and other than that, the website on it doesn't need to be up because it's kind of related to it, so, you know, give or take. Uh, in the cable management video, I will turn it on and show you how loud it is if you guys want to buy one of these. Uh, the best place, honestly, eBay. Uh, they're kind of cheapish and you can pick them up. If you want to go for a bit more of a bigger system, for example, 64 cores, 144 gigs of RAM spread across all four. Oh, by the way, it's a DDR3 system, so don't expect like lightning fast, but it's definitely good enough for a lot of stuff. Anyway, so if you guys want to pick these up, you can get them relatively cheap, I'd say. Uh, it may cost you a couple hundred, but they're definitely worth it, Coming considering you could pay people a lot per month and you'd make it back in a couple of months. But anyway, my future plans with these things, plans? Oh, I can't speak anyway, but my future plans with these are, uh, these two are going to pretty much stay the same. Uh, with these two, I want to do these two as very much file hosting and websites, mainly, because I want to take a bit more of the load off this one, because this one does max out a little bit. And because Minecraft is a RAM hog, trust me, anyone who's ever hosted one will agree with me. But I want to do mainly websites on this one. I want to stick a GPU in this one and have file hosting and possibly kind of rent it out a little bit. Like I'm kind of doing now, but have people maybe pay me a small amount. If you guys are interested in that, then that'd be quite cool. But yeah, I was going to stick possibly like a 1070 or 1080 in it. And then, you know, that'd be quite interesting. These... Obviously, we've talked about these, yeah. But yeah, that's kind of like my future plans. It will have its own set of rails coming soon, and I'm possibly going to upgrade it and add a load more into the systems. But if not, more than likely, I'm going to sell this server, even though it has like an emotional attachment in my heart, because it's my first server, and it sat on my desk for the longest time before I cut my desk off and bought a rack. This is a very big rack, by the way. It's a uh, 27U rack. It's quite tall, anyone who knows racks will tell you this thing's quite big, it weighs a ton, it's got a glass door, hello me, and you know, modern technology keeping it open. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much everything about the C6100, thanks everyone for watching, and I can't really give you links to the server, because obviously eBay's listing, whatever, but there's, there's some for about $150-ish, they're pretty decent, so if you guys like this video, then like it, subscribe, everything else is coming soon. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this little, uh, I don't know, kind of like more tech savvy type thing. 
I want to do more of it in the future and I will put up pictures of this server when it's open and if it's completely out if I can find the pictures of it still but if not thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys